If you plan on attending the Yipang Lantern Festival, here are 10 things that you need to know. I'm Dev. I'm Jen. Welcome to our channel. Let's get to the video. Number one, the symbolic meaning of Yipang. If you're like me and you've seen these videos where there are thousands of lanterns lighting up the sky, you're probably thinking to yourself, you know, what event is it? Well, that is the Festival of Lights, also known as Yipang which is only celebrated in Northern Thailand. So this festival is actually deeply rooted in Buddhism. On the night of the full moon, there are these lanterns that are placed all around town. Sky lanterns are lit and released into the night sky, representing freeing oneself of bad luck, inviting good fortune to the coming years. It's also very common to write a wish or prayer on your lantern before release. And if your lantern were to fly out of sight, it's believed that your wish will come true the following year. Number two. Yipeng versus Loi Kratong. What's the difference between the two? When you search the word Yipeng online, you'll likely notice the word Loi Kratong being associated with it, and that can get a bit confusing, but let me clear that up for you. Yipeng is a sky lantern festival you mostly see and hear about, with thousands of people releasing lanterns in the sky. It's normally held for three days and is only celebrated in northern Thailand, mainly Chiang Mai. Loi Kratongs are small floats constructed from banana leaves and flowers with incense sticks or candles in the middle. They are released into rivers and canals in the city to pay respect to the water goddess for all the rain and rice harvest for the year. This festival is free to attend and is celebrated nationwide in Thailand. So we learned that these are two independent yet coinciding events that occur during the same time between late October to November. The exact dates for them can get a little confusing because they both occur on the full moon of the 12th month of the Thai lunar calendar. For updates on the exact dates, be sure to check out our link in the description box below as the dates do change every year. Number three. Book your flights and hotels early. So we were in Bangkok at the time, we booked our four day trip to Chiang Mai about a month in advance. What we should have done was we should have booked it way in advance. The reason being is because this domestic flight, one hour each way, cost us $170 Canadians each, while other months it would only cost $40. So learn from our mistake and book your flights early either domestically or internationally. As for accommodations, we were able to secure the B2 Green Hotel a month in advance for a pretty reasonable price. We paid $22 for a standard room, and the location was pretty great because it was between my mall and Old Town. We recommend that you stay in that area just because there's a lot of convenience for food, uh, it's where the mall is, and where the festival is happening. We love using Agoda to find the best hotel deals, so we share the link below so you can find the best deals as well. Number 4. Where to go for the Yipeng Lantern Festival We were going back and forth with each other for quite a while with this one as there were so many events being held for this festival. We did, however, boil it down to three main events, two of them being mass lantern release festivals that do require paid tickets, and the other one could be observed for free in the old city for that real authentic experience. Now, we did create a chart for all three options. That way, it may help you make your decision. Let's get to the chart. The first option is the Yiping Lana International event. This is the most popular of the three and also the priciest. The third option is a free event that can be observed in the old city of Chiang Mai. It includes several different activities and I've always heard that it's just as beautiful as the other ones. This also brings me to our next point. Number five, which option did we choose and what did it include? So we actually ended up going with the second option because we've always wanted to experience that mass lantern release. This option includes two sky lanterns, one Loi Kratong, and several different activities without being as pricey as the first one. Some key things to note about this event is that they do provide you with an unlimited amount of food and drinks. There's no drones, no alcohol, no smoking allowed. You are required to dress politely and you can bring a pen along with you if you do plan on writing on your lantern. Number six, get ready for the crowds. On the day of the event, we had to register a ticket at the pickup location and get our transportation from there to the event. That process along with the event itself was overwhelmingly crowded and the wait for our transportation back at the end of the night was also super super packed. So I just want to mention be prepared to share your time and space with thousands of other people because this event can get really really packed and really crazy at the same time. But at the end of the day, watching the lanterns, releasing it, the whole experience itself totally makes it worth it. Oh yeah, also we brought pens to write on our lanterns but unfortunately we didn't even get to use them because by the time we got to the lantern seating area it was already so dark and the seats itself was so tight and packed that we couldn't even open up the large lanterns let alone write on them which brings us to our next point. Number 7. Lighting a lantern is harder than it looks. So for me personally I had trouble with this and here are some tips that I wish I knew before I went and let me demonstrate with a real paper bag. When you first receive your lantern, you're going to realize this thing is actually pretty big and you have to fill it with air. 
This is harder than it looks because you're so tightly squeezed with other people. Once your lantern is fully filled with air, the next most crucial step is that you have to light a wooden kindle on the bottom of the lantern. What most people get wrong is that they just light it up and the flame starts burning the signs. What you want to do is hold the top of the lantern while lighting the wooden kindle on the bottom to prevent the side from burning. We've seen so many people around us lose their lantern that way. Once lit, your lantern will fill up like a hot air balloon. And once fully filled, you'll feel a slight tug on your fingers. Once you feel that, your lantern is ready to release. Ta -da! Number eight, is it eco-friendly? Now whether all these activities are truly eco-friendly is still questionable and up for debate. However, we did do our research before attending and found out that 93% of the lanterns being used for the Yipeng Festival are made out of biodegradable rice papers. The specific organization that held the event we went to does take responsibility with cleaning up the environment after the event has taken place. They've also changed the title for the event next year to include the word eco-friendly with an aim to reduce environmental damages. Number 9. The fireworks happen at the initial release of the lanterns. So during the first 5 minutes of the lantern release, make sure you have your camera ready for that picture perfect moment. That's what happened to us at the CAD event in 2019, and we're not too sure if other events are the same way. When we're lighting our first lantern, we were caught a bit by surprise that the firework finale was at the very beginning of the show. So make sure that you're ready for that moment and have your camera ready. Number 10! This only happens once a year and photos and videos don't do it justice. Being there in person was truly magical and sharing that moment with each other was beyond words. For a large portion of the lantern release, we actually just put our phones away just to enjoy the moment. That's right guys, this was an incredible experience and created memories that'll last us a lifetime. The beauty of the lights and the way it illuminated the sky is just beyond words. It's something you just have to experience for yourself. So if you're looking for that Disney Tangled moment, then this is definitely it. We highly recommend for you to check out the Yipeng Lantern Festival in Chiang Mai. Don't miss it or you might regret it. Thanks so much for watching. We hope this inspired you to add this event to your bucket list. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we'll be happy to answer. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Also check out our cinematic video of the Lantern Festival if you haven't already. But for now, we out. Peace. Derp 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 der